Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving an update on my mealworm colony as I change their bedding, show an easy way to collect your dead, and incorporate new beetles into the colony. This will also help give you a better idea of how effective the mesh bottom enclosures are. It has been about a month since I have changed this bin last, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to show the growth of the colony. When I deal with these guys, I take everything out of the bin and put it in my sifter. I had to pick out quite a few worms by hand, but the sifter made it a lot easier. The smaller worms went into my larger rearing bin, which I will give an update on shortly. These are how many worms I found. They are going directly into my fresh feed bin with no substrate to be fed off or pupate into beetles, whichever comes first. If I have time, I pick out the beetles daily. However, I leave things in there for them to climb on as it makes collecting them easier, and I've been working on something that I just have to test to make sure it works before I show you guys and suggest it. Anyways, egg crates make this process very easy. Let's get ready to add the colony back to its bin. We are going to make a simple beetle fortress this time with a repeating pattern. We start like this and keep adding. I then bury it, hoping it will add extra surface area. I tried to make something that would support the substrate on top of it while holding its shape. We will see if this works or not. Probably not. I added some moist food to draw the beetles away from their drop off point. After giving the beetles some time to settle in, I noticed their dead was piled into two areas. One near where I placed them, one further in the back. I assume the ones in the back got pushed there by the swarm. But now, let's add some fresh blood to the colony, and let them settle in. This is the damage after only a few days. Man, they take everything for granted, these guys. Anyways, we can see substrate already falling through the mesh bottom to emphasize how this basically works by itself. This is what fell through this colony and another small one last month. They have gotten so big. I have been feeding cabbage and lettuce every day. It seems like they grow faster under these conditions. This was literally in my video last month. Same bin, see how small they were? And now, this has been an experience. This is by far my biggest yield. I know it gets much, much bigger, and this is nothing. I started this colony with one cup of worms in February. Five dollars has led me here. And that's about it, guys. If you have it in your critter-loving heart, give this video a like, a subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos in the future like this. For those of you still here, I did pick up a spider for the channel. It's a striped knee tarantula, nothing special. But this will be my first tarantula, and if I end up liking them, I will be adding more to the channel in the future since their upkeep is insects, and that I am in no short supply of. Lastly guys, be looking out for my waxworm breeding guide and my superworm ratioed colony videos later this month. And as always, from the gizzards and I, have a wonderful day.